If you've ever had a homemade scone during a local event in St. George, chances are it was made by Exchange Club volunteer hands with love using a recipe handed down over the years. What's the trick to making the perfect scone? It's really easy, so there's not a whole lot of... You just mix the dough, let it raise, punch it down, roll it out, and cook them. It's really easy. It's not as hard as it looks. And of course, the honey butter is the yes. best part, right? The honey butter is the best part. People don't seem to mind standing in line to get a taste of these fresh fried sweet puffy like pastries that go best with powdered sugar and honey butter. We have been doing the scone breakfast after the mayor's walk for as long as the mayor's walk has been going. But we um, are needed some more fundraisers because everything we raise goes back into the community in some way. And so we decided that Dixie Days was a great way to bring out our great and awesome scones. And Horton is the current president of the St. George Exchange Club. The nonprofit organization takes pride in offering service and support to various community organizations in need. One of those is the Southern Utah Performing Arts Festival. We feel like we want to help um, continue the education and, and promote the arts in the community and in the schools. Members of the Exchange Club do whatever they can to promote exchange, to network, and exchange ideas in the community. We're actually involved in four main areas, with the prevention of child abuse being the one main project. We also do Americanism projects, where we give flags at the Veterans Day Parade, and then we are also doing things for youth, and we do that by doing the Student of the Month program, where we have high school seniors come to our club, and then we give scholarships at the end of the school year, uh, one full ride to Utah Tech. This year they celebrated 50 years of service, promoting and giving service to others. The number of projects you guys do is astounding, and, and the things you do for your community, it, it is impressive, and I think uh, everybody should appreciate what you do. One of the great things about Exchange Club is not only we do think great, good things for the community, but we uh, form friendships with people uh, that are involved in the same kinds of things and like-minded people. Besides doing good deeds for the community, these volunteers love the way it makes them feel to reach out to others. I've always felt that it's important to give back to the community however I can, and I do it by volunteering my time with the Exchange Club of St. George. Been doing it for over 30 years, and I've enjoyed every year. I enjoy every club meeting. And to think that something as little as a scone could reach the hearts of many through their taste buds, complete with powdered sugar and honey butter. I've kind of become a bit addicted because it, it's fun to do uh, great service that, that benefits the community and that we're able to uh, just see people happy as we're doing scones or when we're in a parade handing out flags to kids and uh, just all the great things that we're involved in. Anyway, you can look at our brochure. It's got all the details. <laughs> So if this sounds like fun to you, the Exchange Club is always welcoming new members. And if you see them at the Mayor's Walk this year, stop by for a bite in support of a good cause. But we'll have the scones at the Mayor's Walk in the park after the, during the marathon. Come for scones that Saturday morning. And if it looks like we're having fun, join Exchange before that and you can help. In St. George, Melissa Anderson Community, Education News.